If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. Holiday loading is an extra 17.5% of four-week pay to full-time employee at the end of every year. To work out holiday pay, it is four weeks pay plus 17.5% of four week pay. For example, Anna is a hairdresser. She is paid $2,570 a fortnight. Calculate Anna's holiday pay. So first of all, we need to work out four week pay and then we need to work out 17.5% of four week pay and we add them together, that is holiday pay. We know Anna's income is $2,570 a fortnight, that is two weeks. We need to work out four weeks pay. So to do this, we go 2,570 times by two, because one fortnight is two weeks. So we need four weeks, so we times this by two. So 2570 times it by two. So $5,140. So $5,140. That is her four weeks pay. Then we need to work out the holiday loading. So holiday loading is 17.5% of four week pay. So 17.5% mean per hundred times by the four week pay. That is $5,140. So I just go answer times 17.5 over hundred or divide by hundred. Eight hundred ninety-nine dollars and fifty cents. So equal to eight hundred and ninety-nine dollars and fifty cents. To work out the holiday pay, so which is at four week pay plus the holiday loading. So which is that is five thousand one hundred and forty dollars plus eight hundred and ninety nine dollars and fifty cents five one four zero plus eight hundred and ninety nine dollars and fifty cents that is the answer that was the last time I did so the holiday pay six thousand and thirty nine dollars and fifty cents six thousand thirty nine dollars and fifty cents please stop the video and try this one yourself We know same annual pay is $98,000. To find out the holiday pay, we need to work out four weeks pay plus 17.5% of four week pay. So we know Sam earned this much a year. So to work out four week pay, we go $98,000 divided by 52. So because we know that 52 weeks in a year, that is give me one week and then I time this by four nine eight zero zero divided by fifty two times four seven thousand five hundred and thirty eight dollars and forty six cents seven thousand five hundred thirty eight dollars and forty six cents that is two decimal place to work our holiday loading we need to work out 17.5% of 
the four weeks pay that is this one here so you go 17.5 percent min per hundred times seven five three eight point four six so instead of type the number I use calculator so it give me more accurate and also it's easier so I just go answer times 17.5 divided by 100 1319 dollars and 23 cents equal 1319 dollars and 23 cents holiday pay is equal to four weeks pay plus the holiday loading so seven thousand five hundred and thirty eight dollars and forty six cents plus one thousand three hundred and nineteen dollars and twenty three cents so I just go answer at seven five three eight point four six that we do that is equal to eight thousand eight hundred and fifty seven dollars and sixty nine cents so that is her holiday pay please stop the video and try this one yourself Hannah is a retailer who works 42 hours a week and is paid $29.50 per hour. Calculate her holiday pay. So I can just work out all together. Okay. So her holiday pay. First of all, we need to work out how much she earn a week first. So one week, Hannah works 42 hours. So 42 times $29.50 that is per week and we need to work out four weeks remember holiday pay is four weeks pay plus 17.5% of four week pay so which is time this by four that is four week pay because the question is asking for holiday pay so we need to work out four week pay plus the holiday loading so which is at the holiday loading that is for week 17.5% of four week pay. So this is the four week pay times by $29.50 and times by 17.5%. You can just do this all in one go. So that is equal to, so 42 times 29.50 times four and then just type exactly the same, but I won't do that. So what I do, I do this quicker. I just press answer first. So now I just go answer plus answer times 0 0.17.5. Or you can just type 17.5 over 100. Or you just type exactly the same number on the screen. Okay. So that is. Five thousand eight hundred twenty three dollars and thirty cents. Five thousand eight hundred twenty three dollars and thirty cents. Let's check it out this way. Forty two times twenty nine point five times four plus forty two times twenty nine point five times four times 17.5 over 100 of course equal there you go so you get exactly the same answer thank you so much for watching